right, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the white clover. Some people call it a honey clover. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. So let's take a closer look at the white clover. Now, if you ever see somebody and they ask for a four-leaf clover, this is the clover that they're talking about. They're not talking about the red clover, which is the one with that big purple... Uh, it's got that big purple flower on it. That's a red clover. This is a totally different thing we're talking about here. So, here's a leaf. So that's what it looks like. Let me try to get you one that has some white in the inside the uh, the leaf. So that's what it looks like generally. And these are always three lobed. But every once in a while, you will get a four leaf clover, which is very uncommon. So if you do find one four leaf clover, if you're looking and you happen to find one that's four leaf, I recommend you save it because that is supposedly really good luck. So let's give you a closer look at it. And so clovers are generally, they are edible. But the thing about clover is you got to be really careful how you eat them. Eating too much of any wild edible can have side effects that may or may not be good for you. And clover is one of them. So clover contains a small amount of cyanide. All clovers do. And so keep that in mind that if you're going to eat them, you eat them very sparingly. Now, a little bit of cyanide isn't going to do in, in its in its natural form. You, it, we're not talking about harvesting 50 pounds of clover and then processing it to get the cyanide out of it we're talking about such a tiny amount in its natural form is not going to be that harmful for you it's not really going to do any damage but cyanide does have a building effect so if you are going to be consuming clover every single day i would recommend you use caution doing so Okay, so it, it just keep that in mind that larger amounts of clover is probably not a good idea to consume on a daily basis. But you can eat these just the way they are. Now, I'll take a bite off of this one and see what it tastes like. It has like a green type flavor. It almost tastes a little bit like uh, older, more mature type spinach. And it, it has more or less like a grass type of a flavor to it. Like regular, if you were to just start eating grass, that's it would pretty much taste like that. So as far as eating a leaf, it's nothing to brag about, but it's not bad. It's not bitter or anything, and you can eat them actually pretty easily. Now, as far as the flowers go, I'll give you a better look at the flower. And that's what the flower looks like. That's one one of the ways. You're probably more used to seeing the flowers that look like this once they spread out. That's what you're probably used to seeing. And the flowers tend to be a little bit more on the sweet side. I'll take a bite off of one of these. The flowers have a different kind of a flavor altogether. There's a slightest, tiniest bit of slightest touch of sweetness but they got kind of a strange flavor to them it's not bad or anything it's just they got kind of a different doesn't taste anything like the leaf I'll take another bite off of this one I don't know when I was a kid I chewed on a lot of things and one of the things I chewed on when I was a kid were crayons this tastes a lot like the crayola crayons <laughs> you probably think i'm crazy for saying that but yeah i chewed on crayons when i was a kid 
Every, everybody did. I'm sure. I, I don't tell me I'm the only one. But it kind of tastes something like a crayon from a crayon box. You take a crayon, just kind of scrape some of that wax off and chew on it. That's what this tastes like. Like a crayon. Now, it's not bitter. It's not nasty tasting. It's kind of bland. It has that flavor of crayon. Other than that, <laughs> they're not bad. You could probably eat a whole bunch of these things. So, if you see clover in your yard, I recommend you look for a four-leaf clover. And if you find a four-leaf clover, send me an image of that four-leaf clover. I'd like to see it. And uh, just uh, share that that find with the world because four-leaf clovers are very, very rare. So that's just a basic video on the white clover. I'm sure you you have them on your your property, and you probably stepped on bees before. This is the this is the plant that the bees love to. You know. They love to be in your yard. So when you're walking barefoot and you get stung, they're probably on one of these. So anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.